water, we're just moving things around a bit. These two hooded vultures just came down for a drink. We just had to reposition the car there to try and see them a bit better. Now, the reason there's vultures around here, there's also a couple of them flying around. The lions have made a kill not too far north of you, and unfortunately, it's into an area that we can't go. It's on one of the neighboring properties, but the good thing of that is that the closest drinking point for those lions is this dam. So there's a very good chance we saw a few packs just now coming down here. Maybe towards this afternoon, late afternoon if we're lucky, or otherwise tomorrow morning. There could be a whole bunch of lions coming for their after eating drink down at the water here. So close on this water hole for the rest of the afternoon and then like I said tomorrow morning as well. This is obviously not eating too much in that carcass yet. In the beginning the lions won't allow them on that much, but uh, they're happy to wait their time. By their time they know that food will be there for them. It's one of the benefits of being a scavenger is that you must just be patient enough. It's very, very dead, so it's more a matter of just waiting for it. Beautiful vultures there. Again, perfectly adapted for scavenging, especially these guys. They're not as big as some of the other vulture species. Also, get the leopard face vulture around here, which is a massive, massive bird, two meter wingspan. It's more than seven feet wingspan. And uh, large birds, your white back vulture as well, very large bird. These guys are a bit quicker and they can also get into the carcass more. They've got a slightly pointier beak as well, so they can really get to the little bits of sinew and tissue and so on that the bigger vultures can't necessarily get to. Otherwise they're sort of bare head, not too many feathers on there. Others, obviously, if you have a full head of feathers, that'll get caked up with blood and muck when you're eating on, on carcasses that could be anything up to two weeks old. Guys' heads are quite pale. Sometimes they're very pink. Yeah. Feathers on their mm These two vultures on the little points of dry land there as this water hole is now drying up a little bit or not drying up maybe just sort of becoming smaller over the next few months it'll get smaller and smaller until the main deep section of the dam will remain you have all these little pools and wallows opening up that animals will utilize and these two vultures just sitting on a tip of dry land there it's very beautiful sort of the water in the background and foreground
Well, I think we're going to probably spend a bit of time around the water hole, yeah. A couple more vultures coming in and it's a beautiful afternoon here, so we'll just maybe spend another 10 minutes or so around here. Also go back to Gowrie Water Hole now and again, see what's happening that side. There's no big rush. It says Africa and I've got a feeling that there might be a couple of things more in the area that might make their way down to the water, so it's going to take it nice and relaxed here. There's another vulture coming in for a, for a landing. Right there, watch him. <laughs> and another one dropping out like a skydiver. Oh, feet out, landing gear. Ah. Other side. Such characters. Yeah, I know they can. You can see why these things feature quite often, in especially cartoons of Africa. Comical looking birds, and they. Fierce competitors, well, if we, over the next few months, at some stage, we'll definitely see some big kills with maybe lions on it as well, but a lot of competition from your vultures in between the different species of vultures as well as interspecific, where there's really competing for the food. Lots of fighting and a lot of behavioral competition as well, where they have their wings open and lots of noise and jump at each other with their talons. Um, great, great birds to, to watch. turning into a whole flock of vultures here this is really awesome we're going to sit here there's quite a few more flying around as well so a bit of luck you might even have two or three more joining you can see a little bit of behavior there as well as that other bird flew in again just reminding each other of who's bigger and who's stronger also one or two of these new birds that have landed now like Helen said earlier they've got that more sort of characteristic pink, bright pink head and those other ones are juveniles probably with the paler yeah especially the beginning that first two, the one of them had a lot of sort of down feathers still. <laughs> 